All right, Fredericksburg, we're back. My name is Ashley Chevalier, and I am interviewing Mr. Mark Cherms, uh, who's been all over the world and is here with us today, luckily, uh, with some of his lovely paintings. And we found out a little bit about where he's been and what he's done and what he's studied. And I think it's always interesting to find out uh, the things that artists have studied. You know, he studied architecture and talks about the importance of having business sense as becoming an artist or <clears throat> pursuing anything that you want to do, really. Um, but now we have the awesome opportunity to look at the original artwork right here in the studio of the local scenes from Fredericksburg Battlefields. This is Chancellorsville. Yes. And yeah. this is when Stonewall Jackson got shot. Now, this mm -hmm. was a commission painting by whom? By the Fredericksburg the, Parks and Rec? By Champ? By the National Park Service. Yeah. By the National Park Service. Okay. So they actually commissioned it to license it. So I still own, actually own the original painting, but they've licensed uh, these images. And actually, you'll see these images in the uh, at the parks uh, at Chancellorsville and Fredericksburg as they're renovating the... Um, the visitor centers, uh, I think, this this year is happening. Chancellorsville is one of my favorite battlefields. Mm -hmm. It's a great place to walk. And um, I've seen, you know, I've been all around. I've been to the Stonewall Jackson Shrine. I don't know if you've ever been there. It's not mm -hmm. the same place, all the way out off route two. Mm -hmm. It's a great place to take your friends and your family if you're if you're looking for something everyone can enjoy on a nice day. Um, but these are oil. Yes. Right. Um, and I say that because it took me a while I, to distinguish between acrylic and oil because mm -hmm. I'm not an artist. It's, well, no, it's difficult to distinguish between acrylics and oils. It's difficult. So um, tell, tell me a little bit about this. And we've got the, we've got, we're going to look at, you've got some sketches, mm -hmm. which we'll look at later. Okay. Um, because we like to talk about how we, how you come to the, uh, come to your final version. Um, yes. what, what was important about this? You say it was commissioned, so there were obviously things they were looking for. You said that they wanted the moment that he was shot. The moon was important because it was a moonlit night, yes. which I'm sure affected the perspective of the painting. So yes, yeah. Um, so uh, the parks, obviously, they're using it as an interpretive image so that on the site, so they want to be able to talk about, um, for example, the different members of staff that were with Jackson when he was shot, the location. Right. Um, it's uh, May, so the leaves are just starting to come in. It was um, May 7th, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. What? We'll have to 1863, check on that, yeah. something. It's May 5th, it's May 3rd. <laughs> something. Battle of Chancellorsville was like in that May, yeah, 3rd early May, May yeah. 7th range. Yeah. And all those different dates on there, different times. They wanted to be able to talk about the, the different wounds that he received um, in his arm and hand, uh, what he was wearing, all that kind of thing. And uh, then to see it from uh, a, a sort of interesting. Uh, perspective so you're looking from the point of view of the guys that are actually firing on Well Jackson. it definitely took a variety of, I mean you had to put some research into this you couldn't just well, switch it out. Fortunately uh, National Park Service was very helpful with that and I worked uh, in concert with uh, a gentleman called Frank O'Reilly who wrote the book on Fredericksburg Battle. Oh, oh neat. So he was able to give me a lot of information and then talking together about the project. Frank actually provided me with uh, uh, some initial co sketch concepts, and then we kind of narrowed it down. That had to be uh, a really there. fun, fun conversation. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and the, it's always interesting because we're always finding new things out, or, or finding new documents, um, uh, new bits of research, and uh, that kind of thing that, that, that might influence the the, the painting. Um, and of course, with Jackson, uh, he, he's such a iconic figure from the Civil War. That's why we called the painting turning point because when he was shot, that really was a a turning point in the, in, the, in the entire war. Wasn't it Robert E. Lee said he lost his right arm yes. when Jackson, yes. yeah, even and Jackson lost his right arm. That's right, right. and of course Jackson's <laughs> arm is actually buried at um, Elwood House, which is on the Wilderness Battlefield, Okay. which is um, another location where you can see um, my paintings. Okay, all right, so, so in Fredericksburg people c will be able to see your paintings at the visitor centers? And um, you just said at the El Elwood House? Elwood House, they can currently see them, yeah. They're actually on display, they renovated the house um, I think it was uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, I did. Uh, they completely changed the interior, and uh, it's really an interesting display they have there as well. As <laughs> my paintings are there, but uh, I did uh, a few paintings at this size, and then of course they've blown them up really large on the walls. There's one of um, uh, 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 Grant and, um, and Mead. Um, wow. at arriving at Elwood House, and uh, then there's another one of uh, the Battle at Saunders Field, okay. where um, they lost the Union guys lost their artillery. You know what I really like about this painting, just in general, is that even though, as I can hear it, isn't that? Uh, maybe that's because I'm a musician. No. <laughs> but yes. I, I you hear. Think, you probably think in music. I hear the um, thinking notes. The cracking of the, you know, the cracking of the trees and the and the. 
you know, all the, all those the things. Whole series, yeah. um, and that's not always easy to do with a painting, you know. Sometimes you just see the images and everything seems so still. Um, but this is active enough that I can hear it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. At least in my mind. Well, I always try and use strong lines of composition in, in, uh, to, and I think that probably helps you figure out what's going on in a painting. You know, if you're looking at a, at a um, these are all action paintings, but right. if you were painting a still life, for example, these flowers, mm -hmm. you, you might want your eye to kind of casually glance over the scene and it might, you might want to lead it in just slightly from the side, but uh, you know, generally you want a sort of peaceful feel, whereas you, you might notice there are a bunch of diagonals in this painting which lead towards Jackson. Everything kind of leads towards Jackson. And then what that does is, in, in the visual, uh, it, uh, it really directs your eye straight to him, which actually gives you a sort of sense of urgency in the picture. You don't realize you're, you're seeing that, but that's it's anything that's diagonal that will bring your eye in. So he's kind of breaking the, the horizon and the rows all lean, lead to his horse. I mean, everything that go, the, bull, the bullet strikes, even the angle that the moon has with the, his aide de camp's uh, okay. head there, it all, it all leads in. So that's a kind of little trick that I use. Uh, Is that I something use. from architecture school? Um, actually, yes. Um, we, would, we did a, um, a project on um, uh, interpreting different things, and I, did, I, did, I chose composition. So I figured out that I took at all these landscape paintings and I figured out. Uh, composition lines and I did like a little light box kind of show where mm -hmm. I actually took away the the painting and it just left the lines so uh, so yeah actually that was that was uh, did come from architecture school really that's interesting well mm -hmm. I took um, I took drafting and it's amazing mm -hmm. how just learning perspectives like that can affect you now this is um, I, I figured maybe we could just do this now since we're on the painting and you were sure. talking about yeah. perspectives this is the um, this is one of the initial uh, concept sketches and um, uh, there are a few. I number all my sketches uh, so that uh, then I can refer back to them later if things change. And uh, sometimes I'll move things around in Photoshop now. Um, but uh, we changed, as you can see, you had, I had Jackson slumped forward and uh, we, they thought that perhaps he might be better leaning backwards. And uh, you can see a few things have changed. The horse's head's direction's changed. Uh, and I, I do these sketches, um, I do a whole series of sketches when I'm working on, on uh, paintings, depending on how long I have to do it as well. But um, the useful thing about sketches is then you can send these out, they're, they're, they're visual information. So when I'm talking about a project with different uh, experts, I've got something physical to show them that uh, uh, they can then comment on. So uh, well, this really goes towards the, um, the, um, the historical integrity of the piece. You know, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of effort that goes into this, um, and which I don't think, uh, you know, I wouldn't have known if we hadn't sat here and talked. I mean, we kind of assume when we go and we see a painting, we're like, oh, that is the moment that that's pretty, pretty accurate moment. But um, uh, anyway, this is just one example, Fredericksburg, of another step in an incredibly creative process, um, the, his the history and work that goes into, into this. Um, but we're going to take a short break, and then we will talk more about Mark Sherms and his local art.